Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of D-Runk Comics. For those of you that would like to know what's inside this box, well, I'd like to tell you that it's none of your business. Ah, I'm just playing. We're going to find out what's in the box right after this uh, introduction thing I got here. Check it out. Alright guys, so, what's in the box? I sent off 11 books to get reholstered by CBCS. As most of you probably know by now, CBCS recently changed up their slab, and I wanted all my books to have the new slab, so that's what this is. I have 11 of them here in this box. I have two more that I wanted to get uh, pressed and resubmitted for regrading, so those will take a little bit longer. I lost my knife, so we got the unboxing screwdriver. So if you're unfamiliar with what reholstering is, it's really just getting it re-slabbed, and they don't mess with the grade at all. It just stays the same grade, but they put it in a new holster. A lot of times people do that when their slab gets chipped or cracked. Uh, other times it's for something like this, where they got a new slab and you want to get it uh, in the newest, best looking slab possible. Alright, got this big old brick of slabs. Alright, finally got that unbox. It's not as pleasant of an unboxing experience as one might get from CGC. So something to keep in mind if you submit a lot of books. I mean, everything was well secured and everything was fine, but it just wasn't fun popping open the box. You know what I'm saying? Alright, first book here. Uh, not the biggest book in the world, but we have Detective Comics number 608. This is the first appearance of Anarchy. Yeah. Look at it. All right, the next book we have here is Scarlet Spider number two. It's a John Romita Jr. cover. And just a really awesome picture. Scarlet Spider spraying people down with an Uzi. And this was an A-OK -okay from my good friend Comicade 84 He saw this one sitting around on eBay and he snatched it up real quick, and I have already gotten it put into the new CBCS slab. So there it is, boom. All right, so here we have Superman number 33 and another John Romita Jr. cover, but this one has got a witness signature from him in red right there in the cover. It's kind of like a variant to this book. The, the normal cover was, you know, in color. This one's just all black and white. Love the way it looks. Uh, found it for a really good deal, so I got it, and now I got it in a new slab. This the next one here was another A-OK. -okay. This is Venom number one. Got this awesome looking art. Cover was done by David David N. David N. I don't feel like butchering its name. But the cool thing about this was it was signed by Donnie Cates and it was A-OK -okay to me by my good friend Steve uh, over at Geeks. He, he just goes by Geeks now but I, I will always know him as Geek Strengths in Comics. All right, this next one is an extra cool book. Here we got Absolute Carnage, number one. This is a hidden gem variant cover for Absolute Carnage, number one. And what you have here is the original cover that Mark Bagley uh, was going to use for ASM 361, which was the first appearance of Carnage. And they wanted to go with this one. Marvel said, eh, give me something different. And then you get the classic one that we all know and love. Anyways... I had this one signed by Mark Bagley and his inker, Randy Emberlin, which is really, really cool. Randy Emberlin was a really nice guy to work with. And then this book also has a manufacturing error. It was manufactured with two digital code stickers, uh, which I actually looked up and it's not the most rare thing, but most of them don't have it. But there are a few other ones out there that have the two digital code stickers. So, all right. And here we've got... Batman number one, New 52, signed by Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder. Now, this is like a reprint of it. I think it's like came in like a Walmart three pack or something. It came out a couple years after the original printing of this book. But uh, yeah, man, it's still a 9.8, and it's still signed by Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder. Hell yeah. And here we've got Ben Riley Scarlet Spider number one. Now, this book was given to me by our good friend Spidey Fan. 
and he sent me the book raw and I took it and went and had it signed by Peter David and Mark Bagley. Uh, Peter David wrote the story. Obviously, Mark Bagley did the cover and the art. And fun fact is I also have an original art page out of this book. Yeah, you can see it right there. Nice, huh? Yeah, I thought so too. Oh, I love this book. Here we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number zero, the Green Ranger variant, signed by Jason David Frank. He also wrote Tommy right here. Yeah, man. I don't know. He's just a really cool dude to meet. He was actually really, really friendly to the people in attendance. But yeah, absolutely love this book. Love having it back. Had it done. 9.8, baby. It's the only way to get a book. If it ain't 9.8, it ain't that great. So this is a cool one, guys. This is a square bound book. So the slab is a little bit thicker. And man, it's just it's so solid, man. Like I feel like if I hit someone with this, they would absolutely be dead. Um, but I wouldn't want to hit them with this book because this was signed by Kevin Conroy. He made it out to D-Runk Comics, which is really, really cool. And my name makes it up on the label even, which is pretty cool. So it says, uh, witnessed Kevin Conroy to D-Runk Comics, Batman. Hell yeah, man. Love this book. Love the cover. Love Kevin Conroy. If I imagine Batman talking to me, you know, I hear Kevin Conroy's voice. So, really cool dude. And, uh, yeah, man. 9.8, baby. Oh, man. Secret Wars number one. Sketch done by Randy Emberlin. Colored by Steve Lydic. Signed by Mike Zeck and John Beatty. Just one of my all-time favorite books in my collection. You guys, I, I had the most fun I'd ever had trying to get this arranged and it was it was exciting it was kind of tense it was suspenseful um but i just i was able to get all the pieces to fall into place and it was a lot of fun uh seeing it all happen and then it got graded it came back at a 9.8 which is freaking amazing and yeah man it's, like i said one of my favorite books in my collection and i got it in this good ass slab baby hell yeah all right so as you know cbcs they recently changed their slab and they also got rid of their famous red label. And previously, the red label was to signify that the book had an autograph on it and they're verifying it. And by verified, I mean they didn't witness it, but they were able to look at it and determine whether or not it was real or not to the best of their ability. I'm sure it's possible to sneak a fake through them, but they, they do their best to verify it. And they do reject some of them. Uh, mainly a lot of people get their Jack Kirby signatures rejected, but they got rid of the red label and they just made them all yellow labels. So yellow ones that were witnessed, will say witnessed signature. Yellow ones now that were not witnessed will just have the same looking label, but it'll say verified instead. And that's what we have here. My verified Dan Jurgen signature with sketch. Uh, they don't verify the sketch but they note it, they notate that there is a sketch on the book and why the hell else would Dan Jurgens sign his name below this you know love the book and uh yeah i like the new slab guys all right guys so we went through all the slabs now i'm going to do like a little in-depth breakdown between the new and old slab and let you guys see what the differences are and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts on the new slabs and whether or not i think it's worth it to get them reholstered or not all right, guys, we are back. Here we are doing our slab comparison. And I was actually a little bummed when I first sent these out because I sent all my CBCS slabs in and I didn't leave one behind to do this comparison. Thankfully, Man Cave set me up with a really cool AOK, -okay, and that's what this is right here. But we're going to do a slab comparison so you guys can really see the differences between the two books. And the first thing I wanted to highlight here is the label here on the front of the book. This is the new slab. Really, really clean looking. And there's the old one. That label is really kind of hard to see. It's got these tabby things, you know, that make it really easy to oops, focus. Makes it really easy to crack the slab. And it, it says CBCS. It's not the ugliest thing in the world, but... 
it's also not the prettiest. So, so that's the first thing I noticed there. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to highlight is the sides of the slab. So now here, you can see this is the old slab, and it's just always really chewed up, and I don't know what the deal is with that. It just, it never looks really clean, and I don't know, it just, it didn't present well. Now the new slab, which you can see right here, presents very very well it's very shiny and glossy it looks polished and it just it looks like an actual slab which is really really cool and it just presents itself better i mean it looks better in your collection not that you really look at the sides of the slabs so much but small details kind of count and stuff like this so all right so next we're going to compare the labels here now you can see the yellow label on the bottom here that is the new one and you can see it does fold right up there at the top. And it's kind of hard to tell, but it does fold up there. And that is how you get that really clean top label. Is It's all actually one piece, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot. It's actually the same way that CDC does their labels. Then after that, the label looks still pretty much the exact same. Uh, the, the only other really big change here is when you look at the CBCS logo... Um, the inner well actually has a stripe that comes up over the CBCS lo logo on the label for the old one, and they don't do that on the new one. So the label is just clean all the way across, and I love that. It, it presents itself a lot better. I keep saying present, but hey, man, that's what I really like about Slab and Books is you are presenting them, and this one just presents a lot better. All right, guys, one last thing I do want to highlight here between the new and the old slabs is they don't actually lock together the way CDC slabs do or CBCS slabs do. Now, if you have old CBCS slabs, they will kind of lock together and feel better, you know, resting on top of one another. And the same is true if you have multiple new slabs those lock together really well but the new and old combined there's a little bit of a height difference and those do not line up as well and they don't lock to, they just don't it's like pieces of a puzzle that do not fit so um but yeah man one last look there at that awesome aok -okay that man cave comics sent me Alright guys, one last cool thing to point out here. When they all are stacked on top of one another, these are all the new ones obviously. Listen to this. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, from side to side, but they're all locked. I love it. Alright guys, so I hope you all enjoyed that. As you can tell from my in-depth breakdown, I am actually a really big fan of the new slab. I think it looks really, really nice. I have no regrets other than the fact that I missed the red label. Yeah, guys, that's all we got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. It would be really nice, you guys, if you could do me a big favor. Please like this video. And uh, if you got something you want to chat about, comment below. Let's talk. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And one last thing for all those of you out there watching this video, I would love it if you would be so kind as to remember that I am unable to quit. I am currently too legit.